Hey everybody, Dylan here from Iceberg TV. Today we're gonna to be checking out the Neutron Soft proxy. We're gonna be comparing it to the Eclipse 2.0 proxy. I just went and played nine or 10 holes over at Reedy Creek. I filmed a bunch of those shots, so I will be checking in from the course intermittently. I really wanted to try a Neutron Soft proxy because this is um, one of the discs that Simon Lazat really likes to lean on um, while playing on the Pro Tour. And we have these really cool ones with the Tattooster stamp over on the website, Disc Golf Deals USA. So if you wanna save 10% on one of these, or one of these, or anything else on the site. This is the other Skullboy stamp, I believe. This is the Eclipse 2.0. This is the Neutron Soft. Um, we're going to see how they're flying today. Go get one over at the website. These will sell fast, so we have a bunch of molds with these stamps on them, so go get one while supplies last. But let's give them a throw. I also decided that I really like power gripping these versus fan gripping these. Let's see how they fly. The proxy has, I believe, a one turn and a 0.5 fade. And I was finding that they fly pretty much exactly like that on each and every throw. I can power grip it. I can throw it nice and hard and flat and just get a beautiful point and shoot flight out of these guys. But they just fly so true to the flight numbers. I can see why Simon fell in love with this disc over the Envy. Last time I filmed at Reedy Creek, I bumped into Nathan and he threw my arrow. Bump into the same guy on a different hole at the same course. Let's see how he does with the proxy. Oh, he turned it. Look at the glide, though. How did that not hit a single tree? The guy's a wizard. I normally only like to film at one location for a video, but I feel like the proxy is a special mold. It's really popular. It's one of Simon Lazat's favorite discs. And I feel like you guys really enjoy this setting in particular for disc reviews. So it's nice to have some shots on the course as well, but I feel like it's almost even more important to have some of these open field shots as well. Neutron soft and then glow. I haven't thrown many discs in the last few years that I feel like really fly like the flight numbers. There's a handful of discs that have come out that just have really awful flight numbers. And there's a small handful of discs where the flight numbers are dead on. I feel like with the proxy, the flight numbers are dead on, flying exactly as expected. Point 0.5 fade, boom. I mean, it just fly absolutely perfect, exactly what I was expecting. Try and put this glow on straight through the gap right at the basket. There it is. Fade. Perfect flight. Man, I really like the way that proxy's feeling, and it's just so point and shoot. It's not flippy. It's not going to pop up for you. It's just purely a point and shoot disc. It's going to hold the line that you put it on. Now, I was really hoping that I would like the proxy, and it has not disappointed me so far. I'm not a huge fan of the Envy. I don't like the feel and hand very much. And I also think it's just a bit too stable for me, and I've never really thrown it very well. I just don't need a throwing putter that is that stable. And even in the Fission plastics, the little bit straighter plastics, or even a Proton one, they are a touch straighter. But again, the Proxy just has the perfect feel in hand. It's not too deep. It's beadless. It's flat. It pretty much just feels perfect in every way. And it's got that nice, dead straight, true to flight numbers flight path actually is a pretty special throwing putter. And look at the consistency, basically one landing almost right on the other. Show you guys the side profiles here. Exactly the same. I'm actually getting a much more similar flight in the open field setting than I thought I was out on the course. I thought this guy was flying a little bit straighter um, but now that I'm actually throwing them in an open field, I realize they're basically flying the exact same. When it comes to the Neutron Soft, not super bendy, not as soft as I was expecting. I was expecting something a lot bendier. I actually really like that it's not too bendy. It's just a nice, good plastic that you can kind of sink your fingers into. Anyway, All right, let's give these guys a few more throws, and then we'll wrap things up for today. You can really power up on it. I feel like the proxy has a reputation as like a flippy putter. 
But as you can see, there's not really anything flippy about this disc. It's just perfectly neutral, even when thrown pretty much as hard as I can throw it. Very clearly one of the best throwing putters. I think the glow pretty much to me feels the exact same. Flight-wise, feel-wise, pretty much flying the same across the board, at least for me. So when it comes to deciding which one you want, just go ahead and get which one you think looks cooler. They're flying so consistently and so consistently nicely, you can just focus on getting the one that you think looks the best and not have to worry about getting the one that's in the plastic that you think will perform the best because they're essentially performing the exact same. Um, so we have the new Skullboy stamps plus the Tattooster stamps and a bunch of other custom stamps. Make sure you go get yourself something nice. Use my link, storefront, description below, 10% off any disc on the website. Last two throws. Let's really power up on these, just super hard and flat, full power grip. <laughs> it's like, no matter how hard I throw it, it still gets the same flight characteristic. Now, I was throwing a lot of very soft shots at Reedy Creek, especially when I started off by throwing it with a fan grip. Even with a fan grip at like half the arm speed, I was still getting that same flight characteristic which is just so bizarre. There's not a lot of discs that, regardless of how fast you throw it, is still essentially going to fly the same. Again, that's another point in the direction that the proxy is just a special throwing putter. It's just so good. What an awesome throwing putter. But anyway, guys, those proxies will sell out on the site probably after this video comes out. Um, so if you want one, I would go get one sooner than later. We still have a good bit in stock for now, but again, they will go quickly. Any MVP non-stock stamp stuff is going to sell really quickly, especially when affiliated with Skullboy, one of the best stamp makers in the game. So that being said, again, they will sell it quickly. Make sure you go get one. The link down below. Save 10%. This Golf Deals USA. Stay humble. Live with gratitude. I will see you guys in the next video. And take care. Oh, I slipped. Well, definitely just absolutely slipped on a straight up turd on that first throw. Super unfortunate.